And good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Kelly Ring. And I'm John Wilson. Thank you for being with us tonight. All right, I don't believe I've ever seen anything like this. It's a shocking story we have for you on Fox tonight. We uh, have to warn you because it contains some rather gruesome video involving horses. And you may have heard about it already, maybe not. It's an ongoing problem, though, of horses disappearing in the Miami-Dade area, and then those same horses were butchered for meat. And leading the charge to shut down the slaughter farms is Richard Kuto, who has become an activist to stop this, dressed in camouflage and founder of what's called the Animal Recovery Mission. He calls himself Kudo, and he tells us this is not just a South Florida issue, but horses are being slaughtered right here in the Tampa Bay area. He shared his video exclusively with us and our Cynthia Smoot, and she's here tonight. All right, tell us about it. Well, Kudo says it's going on behind tidy subdivisions within walking distance of a popular mall in Hillsborough County. And I do have to warn you that some of the video you're about to see is very graphic, but it's just a sample of what's been going on. It's Kudo with the arm. I just came uh, to basically a large horse graveyard. Richard Kudo holding up what appears to be a horse skull. Hillsborough County has a serious, serious um, problem with illegal horse meat and uh, being sold in your county. And he says he has the video to prove it. Video he provided to Fox 13. I just came back from a horse meat buy. Uh, this is the animal recovery mission. We bought 10 pounds of horse meat. This came from a two-year-old thoroughbred. Kudo says he infiltrated six farms, all of them within miles of each other in the Citrus Park area. Arm enters these illegal slaughterhouses during the day, at night, in his customers. It's extremely dangerous, and we have no backup. Much of his video is shocking and disturbing. A pit full of bones and skeletons with a horse head clearly visible. What appears to be burned horse skulls. And what he says is a common method of getting rid of what the killers don't use. It's the hog area, and the horse carcasses are thrown into the hog area for the hogs to eat. And there are horse skulls everywhere. Kudo says it's not just horses being slaughtered. We can't show you a second more of what happens to this pig. They're being shot. They're being stabbed to death. They're being gutted alive. They're being beaten with bats. They're being boiled alive, and they're being drowned. And they're not being killed prior to being disassembled. Florida has a law forbidding the sale of horse meat for human consumption. It was passed by the 2010 legislature, introduced by then state senator Victor Christ. I, mean, I don't understand how anyone human could even fathom doing such a thing. Now Christ is a Hillsborough County commissioner. His district includes Citrus Park. If it's happening here, I would want to know about it and I would move aggressively to deal with it. So we showed the commissioner a sample of the video shot by Kudo over the past 11 months. Oh my God, he just, he just cut that, that hog's throat alive. No living thing deserves to be treated like that. Whether it, there is legal consumption or not, that is inhumane practices. You would be concerned about this going on in your district? I'd be concerned about this going on anywhere in this country. Commissioner Christ says he saw numerous violations on that video, and he's prepared to act. A spokesman for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me they're investigating, with one case pending for review by the state attorney. So is the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which confirmed it in this email. Even so, Kudo says he's frustrated. I will not leave this county until every farm that I'm made aware of is shut down for good and forever. And the latest word from Commissioner Christ's office, he plans to talk to the Sheriff's Office and the State Attorney's Office about what he saw on that video and what can be done. John? Sandy, a couple of issues here. One, how do we deal with the time issue? How do we know when this video was shot? How big of a problem do we have here? What is the black market for horse meat and who buys it? Lots of questions there, John. He uh, first came to the county last June and started taking the video then. He's been back to the farms numerous times since then, making about six illegal horse meat buys and all, six buys of that. He also says that the market here is quite large, larger than what you would think. He believes that thousands of horses probably just in Hillsborough County are slaughtered each year. And he does say it is a cultural thing, that this tends to be in the Cuban community and also somewhat in the Caribbean community, that they do eat horse meat for various things. He calls it, Kudo calls this, his words, sort of a third world mentality. 
that they think some of these folks that horse meat cures all kinds of illnesses, that it improves your blood, and that some of the men thinks that it boosts their libido. So. It's just incredible to realize that it's been here for some time and the law was only passed, what, two years ago? Two years ago that we yeah. actually, and that arose out of what was going on in just South Florida. All right, we'll wait to see what the, uh, what the next step is. Thank you very much, Cynthia.